Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Our zombie is a bit damaged, but it should not be a problem. We do have a potion to use if we really need to, but for now we'll just go kill this thing, steal the treasure that it's guarding, and take no damage in the process, but get some small bit of experience anyway and a potion of strength to use later always good to have those once the final battle comes around I'm sure I'll be using a, every potion I've got this is the final mission after all things will be difficult at least I hope so it would be a little bit disappointing if they weren't. Of course, considering what happened last mission with Brian basically finishing the mission by himself, our party might be able to breeze through this mission as well. It's one of the nice things about the Nosferat. They're very slow to build up, but once you get them to a certain point, they're pretty much the most powerful hero in the game. Right, so let's push forward into goblin territory. Kind of pointless fighting these battles, actually. We're not really getting much for them. You know, six experience. Not really worth the time. But I have to get through them in order to get to the stuff they're guarding. So, it's not so bad. Of course, this is a completely useless battle. But I had very few movement points left anyway. Might as well just finish the turn. I wouldn't have got much farther. So, no big deal. Let's just clear them out. Clear the area so that uh, my Banshee, once I get around to actually hiring one, can move in and take the infernal mana. We will need some of it at a later point. I'd like to be able to research my higher level spells this time around since I haven't gotten the chance to the last few times. The undead do have some decent spells and I'd like to be able to use them. Also um, okay, so what kind of structures do I still need? Okay, I've got the occult temple already, so that's not a problem. And I can afford the graveyard, so we'll build that. And then we'll start saving up for the next one. I think I'll just take the city now. It's right here. <laughs> so I might as well. And hopefully we can take out the orcs before they get a chance to attack. Uh, no, we won't. No big deal. We can heal up. And we didn't even kill the other one. There we go. And we should get at least... One guy really close, and the other, and eh, not so, not so much. Uh, they're at 340. Yeah, everyone's at 340 except for that one guy in the back. We found the relics of Galleon here in this city. The sacred Elven lands are near. All right, so. Whew. He's really damaged. 
I'm actually going to... You know what? I could probably take on the ogre easily enough. Yeah, let's do that. I just ran right by a treasure chest, actually. Not intentional. Now, don't miss this last uh, shot. Uh, okay, there we go. Good experience for that. And we now have a Necromancer. Still about 200 away, though. So I'm going to need to use a potion. Or two. One for sure. What else have we got? We've got a smaller one. Suppose I could use that. And that'll have to do for now. Then we can take out these next two parties. And see if there's some decent treasure back there. Probably not. Oh, and we've actually reached the edge of the map on this side, so that's nice. We can start heading in the other direction now. I think I'll push forward first and then come back and get this treasure. It's probably nothing great anyway, especially considering it's out in the open. But we'll see. <clears throat> All on these lands will attempt to stop us. The clans and the Empire have allied. They will use all of their power to prevent us from reaching the Elven lands. We will not fail our goddess. All is in place. We shall destroy the Elven Queen. The sacred lands we seek are in the west. Beware, hordes. It is heavily guarded. Yeah, but we should have no problem with that. We'll just do some quick training. By killing a bunch of green skins. No, we still won't be able to kill him. Even though we all went before the troll, <clears throat> we still won't be able to kill him. So I probably should have defended there, but I didn't. Oh well. Probably should use that next potion. My last potion. Yeah. Just to make sure we survive. And we should be able to kill this thing. Yeah, okay. And we're just over a hundred more experience left to go. So I think the orcs and maybe the ruins should be enough to level everyone up. Get another couple necromancers and a couple of skeletons. Well, we're definitely on the right track, so... Hopefully things start picking up soon. Although, we're not really doing too poorly to begin with, so... I actually haven't lost a single unit yet, I don't think. Or have I? I can't recall. I don't think I've used any life potions yet. And I still have one. So even if we do lose something, it won't be a big loss. 
Just waiting until I can get this treasure chest. <clears throat> hey, who knows? It might be another potion I can use to add to my growing collection. Potion of protection. Awesome. Um, we'll attack. Well, since they're not in a city, we should be able to kill them with just one warlock. Unless they both attack first. Well, that kind of sucked. But hey, we get two more necromancers. Oh, they only needed 500, I suppose. I was expecting everybody to level up all at once. <coughs> This is even better, though. And I think if I can make it, yeah, I'll just move into the city and end my turn there. Definitely nice to have that extra bit of healing. <clears throat> Looks like my autosave is taking forever again, so I might have to disable it briefly. Things don't seem to be so bad once I can see all of the map. Probably because I've killed everything by then, so there's less for the game to actually save. It's usually at the beginnings of the large missions that saving the game actually takes a while. Alright, they're finally starting to push forward. Not too worried about it. I should be able to handle anything they can throw at us. Except maybe a party with two gargoyles in it. Two onyx gargoyles. Because Brian won't be doing enough damage to them with their armor to heal himself enough. So that's actually the biggest threat, I think. Is any unit with high armor. Well, we're decently healed up. I think it should be enough to get us through whatever this is. Yeah. Definitely enough to get us through. Jeez. 200 gold. And an emerald. That was actually really worth it. Uh, 740 gold left. And this will cost 1500 so I'm not quite ready to afford that. Um, we can, yeah, we can take these guys out. We'll probably take some damage in the process, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, they actually do hit pretty hard. And it's a good thing that the Elf Ranger died. Otherwise, we'd be taking even more damage. Alright, there we go. Took those guys out pretty easily. But now I am worried for my Necromancer. We should be able to take that party down, though. As long as we can hit that Elf Ranger first. 
Although, we should still get just a minimum of healing. Just enough to so that we'll survive any hit that the ranger could make. So, we'll probably be okay no matter what. Although, we probably will have to run back to our city to heal up after. But that's not so bad. Okay, good thing I have the Bone Lord here. Because this would be really annoying otherwise. I really need to keep my gold mines. At least for now. <clears throat> I've got two sets of really expensive structures to build. Yet yeah, we've got 34 health, and the maximum that the elf can do is 30, so we're going to be okay. Especially since we killed him. Okay, but my zombie is not going to be okay. That kind of sucks. How much damage? He's doing 95. I did not expect that. Not at all. That's okay, we do have that life potion. And as long as we can get into a battle... Like this one, maybe? That one might work out. As long as we can kill the orc. Well, that takes care of that. How much experience? He needs a lot. Okay. So it's not worth it. Um, okay, as long as we can go attack that orc, and if we can kill it before it attacks, our zombie will get enough experience to level up, so we won't have to worry about healing him afterwards, because he'll get free healing. But that's only if we can kill the orc before it attacks, otherwise we'll have to revive our zombie again. Huh. <sighs> I might check out that elf party before I get too far along here. Because Zom or, uh, Brian, with his first strike that we gave him last time he leveled up, should be going first in any situation. You know, we might be able to take this guy out, actually. This might be actually perfect. Um, depends what he has. Okay, just a dwarf. Now all we have to do is hit, and we should get a level up, and he's fully healed. Perfect. Now we still have to worry about that necromancer though. He's only at 39 health. But as long as See, they've got a centaur. That is a problem. Because he will kill my necromancer. So. We might just start pushing up in this direction. Instead. Elves ahead. Their presence confirms that we are near our goal. Oh, hi. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Okay, so yeah, the thing about elves is they've got a lot of really tough ranged units, so having a really squishy back row is probably not a good idea, but their damage output is going to be really good, so it is worth it. 
It's just a little risky. In fact, I think this mission might have been the better one to go with the vampires. Although it would have made these opening battles really tough. Because just like last time, we would have lost the two warlocks on the front row really, really quickly. Actually, we would have had a really tough time against the troll, the ogre, pretty much everything. Even orcs we'd have trouble against. We can only train three at a time, which would not make things easy. Uh, orc and two goblins. We can deal with this no problem. In fact, I think we're doing... Yep, we got 75 damage output. So just one of these is enough to take him out. Which helps. Because <laughs> they do tend to miss. Huh. Well, I'd like to go down and kill this guy, but I don't want to go up against the elf just yet. Although we do have 44 health, we can deal with the damage. Actually, no. It's a risk. Because he can do up to 45 damage. Uh, how much experience? We're really far off. Ah. Well, let's go for it. Yeah, he's doing 40. Well, that was easy enough. Hey, he missed. Well, that was much better than I expected. Much better. And how much gold? Okay, so I'm actually f really close to being able to afford the next structure. And I'm actually pretty far off in terms of experience. So I'm not doing too badly. Of course, I'm worried about uh, the 3,000 gold buildings. I might have one of them up in time, but I'm not sure I'll have both. Although I do have a lot of things to sell. Actually, you know what? This would be the perfect time to hire a banshee. Yeah, the Bone Lord's going to deal with that for sure. Because we can grab Infernal and Runestone mana, which I think are the two most important ones. The Undead don't tend to use life mana much. Kind of the opposite of death, you know? And we do have a... Uh, resource spot here and here really close to this city really easy to defend so I'll probably grab those two okay this one will be too tough definitely will take out our necromancer I mean we could get lucky and hit that elf ranger with enough damage actually I think he's got really low health so actually it should be fine Uh, um, I think I'll take the city. Yeah, we got the ranger. 
He can't do enough damage to kill him. And then we should be able to kill these two... ...pretty easily. And then we'll have a city, we can sit in here for a little while to get some healing. The High Queen will put an end to your horrendous plans, fleshless creatures. You should help us raise Galleon. Was he not your god not long ago? What? This is not possible. How do you know about our god Galleon? Mortis has sent us to regenerate Galleon's flesh. After his battle against Wotan, Galleon was destroyed. We will raise him once more. You will not trick us, undead. Our Queen Taladriel will stop you, with or without the help of our gods. So the elves used to worship Galleon until he died. I'd like to kill this guy. I'd also like to get the healing from the city. This is a tough choice. More experience or more health? Which is more important? Experience. But I'll definitely need health after this. So I think I'll probably attack maybe this guy, or her, or maybe an elf, and then head back to the city. Also, the Bone Lord needs to deal with this before it becomes a problem. Alright, taken care of. And then, before we get too far. Oops, that's not what I wanted. We will hire a banshee and a fighter to protect her and send her right over here. Alright. Oops. And if we keep if we keep the Infernal Mana and the Runestone Mana long enough, we should have enough saved up for a few powerful spells by the end of the mission. Although I'm not even sure if we have a Death Mana resource point anywhere. I don't see one on the mini-map, but unfortunately I can't move my camera right now to double-check. I know we will get some every turn no matter what, but it won't be quite enough unless we have a resource point. Yeah, I think I'll have to kill her before she steals all my stuff. Having to deal with rod planters from all three races right now. A bit of a hassle. Ugh. I'll deal with it. I'd really rather keep my stuff for now. Not giving it all up just yet. Yeah, this is going to be a bother. But if I kill the angel first, and then 
move over to a point right next to the entrance to kill the dwarf. I should still be able to kill both and get into the city. So it should work out pretty well. But we'll do that in the next mission, or next episode, sorry. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.